G'day and welcome to Queensland Farmer. Well, we've seen a lot of videos on this dam, but uh, I don't think we've been able to show you just how much water does flow down through the bush block and into this dam. You can see that it's uh, absolutely flowing through here, but I can see by where the debris is that it's been an awful lot higher. So uh, I'm standing in running water here. It's, uh, I don't particularly think it's, I don't think it's unsafe for me to be standing here. Lots of rock here. Um, it's not moving that fast that I'm going to be washed away. But uh, it just does show that having this rock in place is a great way to protect your soil when you do have big flood events like this. Now, I say flood events, whilst it was only 85 mils of rain, this is a really large catchment area. So almost all of the rain from our farm diverts down and hits this dam. So it overflows it's carrying the water away as intended. Now I'll just wander down here and I'll just show you exactly how high this water was just by some of the sediments that uh, have been caught up on the, on the plants. Now, you can... now I'm all standing on rock here so it's still again pretty safe but you can see here that the water has been all the way up to here. So it was really gushing through here. So at a guess I suspect that it's also gone into the other overflow. So we're going to uh, carefully walk through here, up over the dam and have a look at the secondary overflow, just to see how that handled the excess water that came down at that time. So if you remember back what it looked like before we put the mulch down here, this was all bare soil here. And you could just imagine with the rain that we've just had what that would have done. Lots of this would have washed away because there was no protection against the rain droplets. Uh, in fact, what's happened here is the grass is, is thickening up over the top of this mulch. It's uh, keeping the area wet when it does rain and it's stopping it eroding largely. This was the area where the cattle escaped into this area and, and trod on and, and made a few holes. There doesn't appear to be any ongoing damage around that, so that's fine. The bird seed that we put in this area is working as intended. It's certainly going through a cycle of uh, you know, growing up and then dropping those seeds and then hopefully we'll get more of this growing. This brings in insects and birds and that whole cycle starts again. So it's looking pretty good. Now these lengths of bamboo, you can see they're almost underwater now. That's how much this water has risen. But this was another area where we put some mulch down and some fertilizer uh, and obviously that, uh, that bird seed. That's growing pretty well as well. There's grass popping up where there wasn't grass before. So we're getting some good ground cover. But of course, we've got the uh, contents of that bird seed is popping up all over the place. So this is the secondary spillway, which only is really activated when we get a big wet event, big rain event where uh, the dam can't cope with the amount of water that's coming down. So what it does is it flows from my left hand side around to my right hand side and it fills up this spillway here and that goes off around to the right. Now the grass is uh, pretty thick over there and uh, I don't feel like walking through it today. It's probably pretty muddy as well because I don't have any rock in that area. But you can see that it's worked and the grass that's growing through here is just phenomenal. So I really need to get some cattle, but I've got some changes coming with the cattle, which I'll tell you about in a future video. So this is the original area that we put in some sandbags along the bottom there. And then we just put some grass that we pulled out of the paddock and put through here. Now, just where uh, Sam 
is that's pretty much what it looked like prior to us putting this grass in place. And over time, because we've provided that environment for things to grow, nature's taking over. So we've got good grass growing through here. And uh, what we did, we were really happy with the progress and the success of that project. So we expanded it. So just beyond where the sandbags are, there is some bamboo. So we used bamboo because uh, we harvested that off our block and we put some more grass there just from the paddocks and that's also allowing grass to grow. It's just creating somewhere for it to, to uh, retain a bit of moisture, uh, something for the grass to hook into and it keeps it away from that sodic soil that's really hard to, uh, to get a grasp on. That sodic soil is rock hard when it's dry and it's, it's uh, very, very sticky when it's wet. So I hope you've enjoyed the update here today. It's been a lot of fun bringing it to you, slipping around in the mud. But uh, look, it's, it's great to see these projects working as intended. They've all been a bit of a trial, so uh, I expect some of them won't work. But given this is working, certainly in the future, this whole area here will be covered in uh, something similar to what we've done here. So we can continue to mitigate the risk of erosion and uh, protect the environment. Thanks for watching. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe. Pretty clearly, the dog's excited by the wet weather and the long grass. Dangerous times don't fly too high.